الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد ايها الاحباب continuing on in our series about those characteristics that Sheikh Islam Ibn Al-Qayyum rahimahullah ta'ala that he mentioned <coughs> regarding the characteristics, various characteristics that we possess that we want to contain within the bounds of the Sharia. That we don't want to have be excessive and we do not want to be falling short with regards to these characteristics. And Ayyul Ahbab, in fact, in many aspects in Islam, Islam encourages us to be moderate. Not as the media refers to moderate Muslims. Moderate Muslims are those who, in fact, reserve their religion to, uh, to maybe just inside the masjid. But uh, moderation in Islam, within the bounds of Islam, is doing the duties that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prescribed, having taqwa Allah in accordance with the Sharia. Meaning that you pray, meaning that you fast, meaning that you, you make the pilgrimage and you pay the zakat, you follow the injunctions that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded, and you avoid those prohibitions. That's what real moderation, real moderation is doing what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us to do, doing those higher uh, duties that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered us to do, seeking knowledge and practicing based on ilm wa fiqh. That's moderation. Moderation is not it's not uh, throwing away the principles of the Sharia. Moderation is not uh, allowing for bid'ah and allowing for kufr and allowing for shirk to take place in the community. But moderation is speaking out against those things. That's what real moderation is because moderation is what is confined within the Sharia. So Ayyul Ahbab, getting back on to what we were referring to, we reach the ninth characteristic out of 10. And Shaykh al-Islam said that the ninth one was At-Tawadah. At-Tawadah. At-Tawadah, Ayyul Ahbab, refers to humility. So that humility is a characteristic, and let's hear what Shaykh al-Islam said, Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala. Humility has its limit. And if it exceeds this limit, then it becomes humiliation and degradation. <clears throat> and if it falls short of this limit, it diverges into conceit and arrogance. So what does this mean, Ayyul Ahbab? It means that humility, being humble, and, and, and having shyness and, 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 and uh, humbling oneself, are beautiful traits that Islam encourages us to do. And this is why when Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he said, Kuntu radif al Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala himar. He said, I was on a donkey with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Isn't that an illustration of humility? Of course it is. The Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam, as we've mentioned before, could have been on the, the finest camels, as the Arabs used to believe uh, for them one of the greatest forms of wealth was the red camel. And the Prophet والسلام, could have the best forms of transport, والسلام, but instead he was on a donkey with Mu'adh anhu, telling him and teaching him about Tawheed. Is there any more humility than this? This is the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the one who had uh, little provisions. And when they made jihad and ghazwat, they could have, uh, uh, they did acquire provisions and, and wealth. And the Prophet Alaihi Sallallahu Alaihi could have took a, uh, an abundant amount of wealth to make a lavish home, or even a home lavish enough to make his wives very comfortable. But instead he Alaihi Sallallahu Alaihi he died and he had debt. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It shows us that this is humbleness, that he didn't attach himself to this dunya, to this worldly life, but rather he was humble in all of his affairs, humble in his, his, his living, humble in his character and his conduct. And this is what we want to have, and this is within the bounds of the Sharia. 
Ibn Al-Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala explained where this tawada or this humility, if a person is excessive in it, going beyond the bounds of the Sharia, then it becomes that they become humiliated and, de and uh, degraded, meaning that they have no honor, no uh, no sense of, of self uh, and self-esteem and so forth. This is not what is memdur. This is not what is praiseworthy humility to just be, consider yourself always as nothing and hum humbling yourself before people who don't believe in Allah and don't believe in the Messenger alayhi salatu wa salam. No, that's not, you don't want to hand your, put your head on the chopping block for them to trample on you and chop your head off and spit on you and degrade you. No, but rather the believer has a, a, a form of uh, izza, has a, 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 has honor and dignity because of their belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But at the same time, being humble, humbling yourself. And the other way in which this trait can be uh, can be uh, disregarded is when a person falls short of this and they have no humility. Instead, they're always arrogant and they're always conceitful. Ayyul Ahbab, this is going beyond the bounds of the Sharia. This is going and belittling these beautiful traits of the Sharia that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His Messenger alayhi salatu wa salam have legislated for us to possess that never be excessive in being so belittling yourself that you are just, you've humiliated yourself. You've decreased your own honor. And at the same time, not raising your head above so that you believe that you are uh, a, per a person worthy of uh, extra respect and, and extra status and honor to where you become arrogant and conceitful and prideful because those are characteristics that we don't want to possess that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not pleased with and that those people who possess pride that they will have difficulty finding their way into paradise that the people of pride and arrogance that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not pleased with them and the Prophet alayhi salatu wa did not like this characteristic so we don't want to possess arrogance and conceitfulness but rather we want to be humble but within the bounds of the Sharia. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those people who have uh, humility within the bounds of the Sharia and those other traits that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, loves. Uh,